Sylvie, all the way, all the way from Chicago, Illinois. She likes things that are round, like the Lyra. educational portion of our show. Because without science, no science. I don't you science it's it's a hell of a drug. So we're gonna bring out our own resident madman. You may recognize him from throwing bookers in your face. Mr. St. Jula someone he roped in to be part of science. I mean, you got the bedangled, bedangled outfits. I mean... Can we get uh, the mic on the other side of the stage? Uh, active as well. I don't want to share a mic with him. Don't tell him. He used it as a hammer.
So what we have here is what is referred to as ele electric death. As you can see, it has Frankenstein bolts on it, so nothing good can come of it. And as you can see, she does not have Frankenstein bolts, so nothing bad can come of it. What St. Julia is about to present is an age-old circus act called the Electric Lady. A demonstration of sorts that will show you the magnificent powers of the electricity coursing through this very building all around us. Yes, indeed. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as Pinkerton said, this is a Tesla pad named after one Nikola Tesla. And on July 10th, 1865, he was born in what is now Croatia. That man would grow up, that baby man would grow up to be a bigger baby man that would. See, so you part of my shake. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, starting over, Nikola Tesla would later beat out Edison as the father of modern day electricity. Now he re revolutionized the way we use electricity through AC and DC currents. Do I have any fans of both AC and DC current? Do I have any fans of current AC and DC? Don't worry, I wouldn't raise my hand anyway. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as I place my assistant here on top of this pad, I'm going to turn it on. Thousands of volts of electricity are going to course through her body and she will be 100% fine, I think as long as she stays grounded on that path. And if she does you... not, it'll be like, you know, yes. sizzle, sizzle, pop eyeballs. Now, I was, I've been drinking, so there was, I spilled a little bit of, of beer on this. Uh, don't worry, it's, you know, electricity and wetness will not be good. I've never tried this, However, when it's wet, but then again, these are it's your boyfriend. <laughs> Just kidding. Let's stick to the science. Okay. So, are you nervous? No. Neither am I. I will be long gone by the time the police show up. So, now, do you have any credit cards on your body? Do you have a phone? No. Are you pregnant? Do you want to be? Pinky will take care of that. Only taking five minutes is in and out, like changing our life. Now, do you have a heart condition of any sort? No, good, awesome. If you could just step right on there. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as you notice from my sexy tight pants, I do have metal on my body. So if you could just grab onto there for me. Just pull down on it. Just pull down on these. And then I need to take these off. It's been a long time since I've gotten naked in Madison. This guy's like, this is not what I wanted when I wanted to see the burlesque show. Well, we were absent of burlesque, so I didn't want you to not get your money's worth. Ah, I'm zipped up in here. All right. Of course, of course I mess. I always mess my turban to my panties. I just like All to right. point out, you can't do science with pants on. It is possible. I don't know why you'd want to. Now, if I could just get you to dim the lights just a little bit, just a little bit. The uh, CGI graphics for this act took our whole budget. So we have someone sizzling bacon in back. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you could just get those lights a little bit lower. Lower, lower. As you see, I have here before you 
a phosphorescent bulb. This is a bulb you can get at Lowe's, Home Depot, Menards. Any, any fine hardware retail store that pays me money to, to pitch their names. Now, as you see, this is not lit. It is not gaffed in any way. There are no buttons on it. It does not have batteries. But if I get it closer to her, the electricity of her body will actually light up this bulb. Now, because she's grounded, it only lights it up halfway. Now, if you were to hold one of your hands out, now that part of your body is not grounded. So if you were to grab a hold, just somewhere toward the bottom, just not the tip, it's not that kind of game, go ahead and grab the whole thing. Go ahead and grab and hold. All right, you'll have to deal with the feedback. All right, now if you were to go ahead and slide your hand further up that thing. Slow, slow. And now down. And if you were to do it faster and faster. Sorry, I'm married. I get cheap thrills wherever I can get them. All right. Keep the lights down low. It's more romantic that way. And you also can't th see what I'm gonna do to my next, my next friend. I have a friend out there, my old friend from Madison. It is his birthday today. And it is only fair that I give him a chance to come up on stage and help me with this next bit. So RJ, if you come up here. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, my birthday boy, RJ. Now, if you have a cell phone, a credit card, any such thing like that, go ahead and put it over by the stage where you can keep an eye on it. Mind you, Pinkerton is over there somewhere. So just remember exactly how much cash you have. All right, so your cell phones out, your credit cards are out. Now I'm going to attempt to do something that I don't normally do because it is so dangerous, but because I haven't seen you forever, and it is your birthday. And because you're a responsible drinker, so you're not going to die that way, I have to give you an opportunity to potentially die on your birthday, thus increasing your legendary status. All right, I am going to take this other light bulb a soft white light bulb. I'm going to put this light bulb in my mouth. Then I'm going to have you touch her. Be mindful of where you touch her. However, that being said, if you were to go ahead and touch fingertips, go ahead and touch fingertips, you get electrocuted because he is not grounded. However, if you touch him and hold as you're doing right now, you no longer get electrocuted because you are grounded. Now, since I am not grounded, I am going to go ahead and put this light bulb in my mouth. And then I'm going to have you touch me in the most dangerous place you can possibly touch somebody with electricity. This woman up here knows exactly where that place is. And it's right here because I don't have insurance. All right. Now, on the count of three, if you would hold your hands up and go ahead and touch palm to palm. Grab hands. All right, there you go. Now. Just kidding, it's a gaff light bulb. I just said it. I wanted to see if even on your birthday you'd touch my dick. <laughs> Watch out for this guy when you go to the men's room. Sorry, I had to do it. 
If you would just stand here, over here, and hold my microphone and call 911 if something happens, I will give you a special birthday present just a minute. Now, what I have here makes this even more dangerous. This is a fire breathing torch. However, I am not a fire breather or eater. So I'm going to attempt to just touch this to various parts of her body and ignite this just from the electricity coursing through her body. Now, I warn you, this last act cost me $65 last time I did this. Because I set a girl on fire and burned her new dress, but I bought her a new one, so it's okay. Now, <laughs> Sweet, it'll just melt to your skin. If you would go ahead and pull up your pant legs there. Now I'm a leg man. Especially, I especially love the ankles, or as we call it, the Muslim, Muslim world, second base. Science. All right. If you were to go ahead and stretch your arm out all the way and hold your finger to about the most erotic way possible. I just need one, this isn't a three-way. All right. Oh, that's a perfect. Ta-da! Now, the most potentially fatal one. If you would just go ahead and stick your tongue out, just the tip. This is the part of this act where we do play just the tip. Can I get a drum roll? Don't do it? Alright, never mind. No, don't, no, I'm gonna do it anyway. Ta-da! And ladies and gentlemen, even though I am not a fire eater, <laughs> fuck that. I'm gonna have dogs do that part. I, you know what? I don't want to burn my face. It's too pretty. It's how I make three quarters of my money. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I am Sandra Obamana. It's safe to step out there. Yeah, it's safe to step out there. And if you like what you have seen, you can go to my website at Illinois Sex Offender Registry dot org backslash Sanjulovamana or Sanjulovamana.com I want to leave you with this one thing and that is I may not go down in history as a legend like Tesla however like Tesla I will probably die broke, alone, and in debt so just think about that alright, thank you hey, thank you hey, uh, hey bir birthday boy Birthday boy. Thank you so much for coming out of Wait, don't go anywhere yet. Wait a second. Hey, I got you this t-shirt. Happy birthday. All right, he got a birthday present. Someone else gets a conception present. Front row.